Okay guys, in this video we're going to show you how to download the Amazon template, how to read it, how to work with it, so that when you upload your images to make your shirts, you're going to have the right format, the right resolution, and the right image size. Now you're logged in here, this is your Amazon dashboard, and there's a few different places that you can get the Amazon templates. You can go to resources, and down here under tools, you're going to see shirt templates, and you can download them for Illustrator, Photoshop, or for GIMP. If we go back to the dashboard, you can get them right here, right from the, uh, the main page. And you can start uh, making a shirt, and it's going to give you another link. It really wants you to use these templates. So we're going to download the ones for Photoshop. That's the one that I'm going to show you guys. And we're going to save this zip file. And I've already got it saved. Uh, let's replace it. That's fine. And it's going to let us open this folder right here. Now it's got a PDF that's going to explain the PSD file, PSD meaning the Photoshop file. So let's take a look at that first. This is the PDF that comes with it. It's seven pages. You can read through it. I've already read through it for you. Um, and I'll give you a shortcut right here, right now. The dimensions that you need and the DPI, the resolution, you need it to be 4,500 pixels across by 5,400 high, 300 DPI, and you want to save them as PNG files. That's the basics of uh, what your files need to look like. Now we're gonna go through here because this does give you some great preview options so you can see how your shirts are gonna look before you upload them. So here it talks about placing your design. It talks about all the different layers that are in the file and how you can edit them so that you can see how they look. Once you have a layer open, you can input your file. Uh, you can see what's gonna look like with a transparent background or a white background. Then once you save it and put it back into the main file, you're going to see that you can change the colors, which ones are visible, which ones are not. You can change the size, so you can see men's, women's, and youth shirts. You can see exactly how it's going to look. And then it talks about how to save your file. So you want to save it as a PNG. You want to keep embed color profile option on uh, when you're saving. Stuff like that's going to be uh, pretty much as default. And that's about it. You can use different programs depending on what you're familiar with. Personally, I use Photoshop, so that's the one that I'm going to show you guys right now. So here's Photoshop. Let's open this up, this PSD file. We're going to keep the layers. And this has a lot of layers, so if you're not familiar with Photoshop, this might be a little overwhelming, which is why I wanted to make a video showing you exactly how to edit these files so that you can see what they look like. But guys, I promise this is more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> you really just need to have the file with the right dimensions. Once you do this one time, you can just fire up a new file, give it the dimensions when you create the file with the right uh, resolution, put the picture together, put the text, whatever you're putting on the shirt, and save it. You don't have to go through this, uh, this template. So this is the front of the shirt. You can either right click or double click, depending uh, if you're using Mac or PC, and I'm gonna edit the contents. So it's going to open up this layer in a new layer, or in a new uh, little window over here. Uh, now I can hide this. It's telling me what to do. Place your shirt design here, hide this layer, and save this tab as a PNG. Okay, so we're going to hide this layer. I'm just going to click this so that I don't see this layer anymore. Uh, now I'm going to open, this is the same shirt that we did uh, in another video. Let's do the hustle one. Okay, so I'm going to open this, and you guys aren't going to have to do this every single time, but I want you guys to see what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to put another layer on here as the background, because I suspect a lot of people are going to run into the same uh, problem. So I'm going to put a fill layer on the back. There are quicker ways to do this uh, of white. Okay, so you might see an image like this and say, okay, this looks great. This is what I want to put uh, as a t-shirt. So let's flatten this. And I'm just going to select this whole thing, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it into here. Now I can transform it. I can see if it needs to be a different size. Uh, these grid lines in the middle help me line it up, both left and right, and top and bottom, so I can be nice and centered. Uh, now this image was already the right size, so you could see that it was going to fill everything up. So if I place it here and go back, it's going to say save or save here. Now, as I save this file, Command S or Control S, it's going to put it back into the main file. 
So when I go back here, you see that now my front layer is the layer that I was just working on. But now it has that white background. And this is what I did the first shirt that I uploaded. Not familiar with how this was going to work. So you don't want to have white or black as a background unless you want to. If your design calls for it, uh, by all means, go for it. But this is what it's going to look like. So if I go back over here and let's just take out this whole background. and save it. Now when I go back over here you see it doesn't have the background. So I did this example just because I really want you guys to see what the transparency of the image is going to look like when you preview your shirts. Okay. So now you've got this, you like the size, you like how high it is from the top, you can of course make this smaller and, and resize it. And over here you can see uh, what it's going to look like on different sizes. Uh, so for sizes, uh, let's do shirts, uh, colors. So here we go. I can change the color. So I can have it see what it looks like in red. And these are all layered on top of each other. So if I want to see the ones below it, I need to hide the ones on top of it. And I can preview all of this. Now this is a little cumbersome because you're going to get these same previews in the shirt creation process. So if you just make a file and upload it, you're going to be able to see what it looks like on men's, women's, and youth in all different colors. So this might be a little <laughs> overly complicated to do it this way, but whatever way you prefer, uh, you can do it. So you can preview what's going to look like on the back uh, for women's, for kids, for men's, as well as all of the colors. Now when you're ready, when you're done, you're going to save this layer or this part of the shirt as a PNG file. So you can do file, save as. Here on Mac, I'm going to use Command Shift S. I want to save it as a PNG file. Uh, now let's just call it Hustle Shirt. I probably already have one, so I'll call it Hustle Shirt 2. And we'll put this in the folder so that I can find it later. Um, it's not letting me change anything through here. Um, I'm just going to save it as a PNG. OK and I'm done. Takes a little bit to save. There we go. Now we have it saved. So now I have the image file that I'm going to upload to Amazon. In the next video, we're going to walk through that process in a little more detail than the first quick start video that you saw. I'm going to break down every setting so you can see exactly how to upload your shirts and what options you have available to you so that you can change those options depending on what you're trying to do with the shirt.